auctioned off. This auction took place on an island that was purchased for $20 million by a man named Lou. Lou celebrates his satisfaction by throwing a party at his home for the business people. A businessman dresses up like a superhero and dons a jetpack. At his residence, Lou greets everyone. After some time, he discovers that they are not their supporters. Those people tell Lou, the island with which he has made an agreement, that the island is useless because it contains a lot of dolphins. They also reveal that they acted in this manner in order to hurt Lou as planned. Because of the presence of dolphins, no development is permitted on the island. They begin to giggle as they say it because they believe they have duped Lou. He has taken the clearance letter to remove the dolphins from that location using innovative technology. As he tells them, when they hear it, all of the business people are concerned since their plot to hurt Lou has been thwarted. And the same businessman who arrived here dressed as a superhero leaves after criticizing Lou. As he begins to return, his rocket belt begins to malfunction. And, like a mosquito, he began to flip from place to place. Everyone who had been making fun of Lou in this party was now disappointed. Being carefree about people, Lou begins to enjoy his party. Then a businesswoman approaches Lou and asks him to choose her as a business partner. He agrees to the request. They are congratulating each other on their new business relationship. That their party is disrupted by a girl wearing strange makeup. She stated that she wishes to meet Lou. His bodyguards, however, pull her away. However, Lou approaches him as the female makes a noise. She also gives Lou her phone number and tells him to contact her if he ever wants to meet her. He urges her to go after taking her phone number because this was a really perplexing circumstance. Following then, it is shown that the girl is riding her skateboard to his house. Later, it was discovered that the girl's name was Sean, and that she had arrived at Lou's island by boat. It had no idea that Sean was a mermaid, and the boat that Sean had used to get here. It entrapped a lot of mermaids. Because Lou had devised a system to keep dolphins off his island, ultrasonic waves were emitted by this device. Because of the ultrasonic vibrations, the dolphins had left the area, many mermaids had died, and survivors were stranded on this boat, trying to save themselves. Octopus, the commander of the mermaids, intends to murder Lou, because his project will come to an end when he dies, sonars will be removed from the water in this manner, and they will reclaim their residence. They chose Sean, the most attractive mermaid in their bunch, to carry out their duty, after entrapping Lou, who can murder him. The action shifts to Lou, who is accompanied by his new business partner. That girl was attempting to bring Lou down by implying that he came from a poor household. That girl, on the other hand, is a member of the royal family. As a result, they are unrivaled for each other. Lou gets outraged when he hears it. And he sends a message to Sean, saying, you will be picked up from here in two hours. Mermaids prepare their swords as soon as they hear this warning. Sean leaves the house to get ready, and they discover, as they answer the door, that Lou's guards have arrived to pick her up, not Lou, who takes Sean to Lou's office, where she is informed that their boss will be meeting with her shortly. She then drops a drop of poison into a nearby lemon water glass. She, on the other hand, is taken aback and raises her head, because there was a security guard who told Sean that she might take the lemon juice from one of the glasses for security reasons, but the problem was that Sean had forgotten which glass she had poisoned. In terror, she now takes a glass of lemon water and drinks it. Her facial expressions begin to shift abruptly, however, after a few seconds, it is revealed that she is chewing on a chunk of lemon. Her facial expressions have changed as a result of this, however, the glass that the security guard was carrying contained poison. There, a security guy loses consciousness. Sean stands up, irritated, and she saves the security guard by pouring the alcoholic beverage into his mouth. In the meantime, Sean observes Lou and begins to pursue him. As a result, she may decide to go after his victim. She was about to use her sea archer to attack Lou. Despite hitting Lou, the clock is struck on her head. Lou had hurled it at a safe distance in wrath. She gets thrown off in this manner. After that, Sean tries to murder Lou for the second time with a sea archer, but she is blind to the fact that there is a front glass wall, and the sea archer strikes her in the head, but Sean refuses to accept her defeat and attacks Lou with a sea archer from behind the door once more, because to the opening of the door, sea archer is attached to her face at this moment. Because of that sea archer, her own body was now becoming poison. She, on the other hand, was determined to complete her mission at all costs, as a result, she strikes Lou while hiding under the table, here, Lou begins to dance, as a result, Sean's attacks are all missed. Lou, on the other hand, 
places his foot on Sean's hand. As Sean prepares to stab Lou's foot to free her hand, she begins to feel pain. Lou lifts his foot right away. Her own hand is injured as a result of this. Sean was fed up with it, and she was enraged as well. Then she uses her flying abilities to strike Lou. Lou's golf stick smacks her in the face, knocking her out. When Lou saw an unconscious girl behind him, he was terrified. But it didn't take long for Lou to become upset. So he pays a large sum of money to Sean in order for her to leave him. But Sean tells Lou that he doesn't need your money at all. Hearing it, Lou is perplexed and asks her, Who are you? Why are you after me if I've never met you? He's on his way out of here, abandoning Sean. He abruptly reverses direction and begins to treat Sean as if she were his lover. As that business buddy approaches Lou, it becomes clear that he is feigning envy for that female. Lou then walks away, bringing Sean with him, both are now seen in a vehicle, where Sean senses Lou's hunger and guides him to a street diner. First and foremost, Lou feels enraged and refuses to eat at this location, but, because he had a strong hunger, they both began to eat at this location. After eating, Lou becomes unexpectedly sentimental. And, when Sean inquires, he says, they were quite poor in his boyhood, and they used to take such a supper after stealing. He informs Sean that on that day, he promised himself that he would be the wealthiest man in the city. You were at fault in this case, says Sean, because money isn't everything. She expresses herself in a few impassioned lines, as a result, Lou feels ecstatic. He now signs a $1 million check for Sean, on the other hand, burns the check and tells him, she doesn't need this check, she doesn't care about money. She explains, I am with you for this purpose because I care about you. With that, Sean begins to sing for Lou. Lou notices that Lou and Sean's singing styles are similar, so Lou joins in. Suddenly, Sean begins to sing a song in her mermaid voice. As a result, everything made of glass is cracked. Lou's phony mustaches are also removed. After that, Lou and Sean have a great time. Now Lou arrives to deliver Sean to her home. Sean's family was on the verge of assassinating Lou. Now that Sean had grown to like Lou, she did not want me people to harm her. Sean was desperate to save Lou. So she stripped down to her underwear. As a result, Lou will be able to see that she is a mermaid. However, owing of the darkness, nothing was visible to Lou. He says, now that we've moved into the house, we'll be able to see what you want to display. Sean smiles as he enters the house and locks the door behind him. Because she understood that if Lou entered the house, he would become a target at Sean's house. Octopus was enraged because their prey had slipped from their grasp. When Lou calls Sean and says, he wants to meet her again. Then everyone becomes enthralled once more and begins to sloganize Lou's death. Sean brings Lou to a restaurant on the second day. Octopus is present as a chef since he does not want to miss his objective at this time, and he'd come here after preparing to assassinate Lou here. Before attempting to assassinate Lou, he brings a large number of bodyguards here, and their plot has been revealed. Now Octopus had no choice but to demonstrate that his tentacles were phony. As a result, the other cooks start cutting his other tentacles. He also sets his tentacles on fire in order to prove that his deception is true. He was in a lot of agony as a result of this. So he was making the oddest expressions. Lou considered it to be a necessary aspect of his performance. When Octopus loses control of the situation, he flees, spilling the black goo from his mouth. Sean tells everyone to deal with the circumstance because it's part of his acting. Lou proposes to Sean, saying, it is that one-of-a-kind activity, which is the best thing that is going on in his life. But Sean refuses to accept it, telling Lou that she has come here to kill him and not for any other reason. Meanwhile, Lou's business associate arrives. As a result, Sean and Lou leave this location. Sean's residence is shown again in the next scene, where Octopus was in full wrath and had begun to distrust Sean, as Sean had begun to appreciate Lou. During their conversation, the door is knocked on, and Sean opens it furiously, only to be confronted with Lou at the front, and Lou is taken aback for a moment, spotting her fishtail fin, as he takes a peek around the room at the other mermaids, he loses consciousness. When Lou regains consciousness, he sees the mermaids who were damaged as a result of his sonar, and Octopus was about to kill him, but Lou begs him to give him a chance while crying, as a result, such sonars may be turned off, I had no clue these sonars could be so dangerous, he says, but Octopus isn't about to let him go, so he starts choking him with his tentacles. However, in order to save her friend's life, Sean chops her leader Octopus tentacle. As a result, Lou has a chance to get out of here. 
Lou travels to the police station after escaping from here. However, no one believes his account. They also make fun of him. Lou returns to his workplace, dissatisfied with his situation, and he tells doctors that he wants to look into the sonar on his own. As soon as the sonar is turned on, he starts to experience a lot of discomfort. Only 10% of sonars were used, according to the doctors, and he was well aware that sonar is extremely dangerous. As a result, he chooses to remove the sonars from the ocean. Why did your strategy alter so quickly? Asks Lou's business partner. Simultaneously, he gives her the entire mermaid story. That girl, on the other hand, is not surprised when she hears it because her company is already working on mermaids, and they've been looking for mermaids for a long time. That girl tells Lou, their company will benefit much if they find alive mermaids, but Lou has no intention of harming mermaids, so he approaches Sean right away, however, when she does not answer his call, he decides to drive to her house. Before Lou arrives, Lou's partner arrives at that boat and takes her soldiers, that girl had dispatched a large number of soldiers to capture mermaids, when those soldiers board the boat, they discover it is empty, as they move deeper underwater, they discover that all mermaids are hiding there, and they start shooting the mermaids viciously with their firearms. As the mermaids are hit by firearms, the water begins to become red and lose its clarity. To get away from the gunfire, the mermaids move out of the water, they suffocate them in the bags while cruelly killing them. They're nothing more than fish, now Sean emerges from the sea and lands atop the soldiers, fighting with them, but Octopus saves him from the soldiers before they can hurt her. He also uses his tentacles to try to throw her out of the boat. Soldiers, on the other hand, lay traps out of the boat before Sean emerges. As a result, she returns to the boat. They may assassinate Sean first. They are carried away by a large surge of water. This is the elderly mermaid, who was producing waves in the sea with her massive fins. With these waves, she was attacking the humans. Now, from behind, a soldier attacks the mermaid from a safe distance. As a result, she dives into the ocean, sonars aren't working, she realizes here, she also commands the mermaids to enter the water, many mermaids have been able to survive this manner. They attack Sean as they move into the ocean, despite the attack, she was swimming quickly in the water and conserving her energy, however, from the helicopter, Lou's business partner strikes Sean, there is an explosion in the water as a result of this, on the other hand, Lou, who was stuck in traffic, is visible, he also wanted to get in touch with Sean as soon as possible. Lou's colleague gives the order to assassinate Sean, who was out of place in this location. In the midst of the gridlock, Lou notices his business rival, who was spotted in a jet pack at the beginning of the film. Before his business associate harms Sean, Lou arrives in a jet pack of his business opponent like a hero. He makes an attempt to save his friend. However, Lou's business partner attacks him as well. Despite the arrow shot in his body, he abandons Sean in the water. And he himself plummets to the ground, meanwhile, the cops come, while altering the scene from here. Lou is shown at his house once more. A reporter had arrived to interview Lou, who was it from Lou who inquired about mermaids? Lou bursts out laughing, and tells him that mermaids only